have you ever wondered if you're ovulating or not i've had a lot of women tell me dog i don't know if i'm actually ovulating yes i track my cycle but i'm never really sure that i'm ovulating and if you're one of those women don't worry today i have seven unconventional signs i'm going to be sharing with you so that the next time ovulation comes around you'd be 100 percent sure that you're ovulating hey everyone welcome back to another episode of health corner i am dr nindy shalom and i've missed you guys a lot it's been a while but we are back if you're new here i'm dr nindy shalom and i share with you daily health tips so you can make better health choices every day if this is something you're interested in grab a seat join the family and let's get right into it one thing that's truly special about a woman's body is that it will always give you signs it will tell you that hey there's a change going on with me. Once you get pregnant, there's change going on with your body. Once your period is about to come by, for most women who are conscious, you realize that there are certain changes that you may notice. And it's the same thing when you're ovulating. You just need to be able to be keen to hear or to notice those symptoms. So the first thing you may notice whenever your ovulation comes around is that there's a change in your mood. You may realize that you're more happy you know you're more jovial and you can even get more beautiful your face is bright you know you're all you're 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 shining this is because it's a surge in the hormone called estrogen so whenever you notice that there's a certain time in your period or your menstrual cycle within your menstrual cycle where you notice a change in your mood you notice that your body is brighter hey that may be a sign that your body is giving you. Another thing that most women notice is a change in libido. By this, I mean a change in their sexual desire. You just notice that at some point within your cycle length, you're feeling more sexual. This happens normally because within this time, there is an increase in hormones in your body, especially estrogen. It has a way that it plays on the brain and your the brain sends signals to the rest of the body and it's just like, hey, get ready because you know, an egg is about to be released. If you're trying to get pregnant, this is the best time. And also you're in the mood. You don't have to like try or struggle to get yourself to that place. So if you notice that there's a particular time within your cycle that you feel this way, pay attention that's your body giving you a signal the third way you can know that you're ovulating is that you may experience light pain on one side of your lower abdomen this is called mittel smirch pain it occurs not in every woman in every woman but in some women it occurs and you notice that when you're ovulating you feel that that cramp that pain and it could just last you know maybe for 12 24 hours or less that's your body telling you that, hey, something is going on. Those are little signs that your body is giving you. So if you're one of those women that experience this, don't take it for granted. Your body is telling you something. The fourth way that you can tell that you're ovulating is you might experience a change in your body's temperature. This is more particular to women who are like meticulous about tracking their cycles. So maybe after your menstrual cycle, you start to measure your temperature every day and you chart it, right? So maybe it's 37 degrees on Wednesday, on Thursday, it's 37.5. Towards that time of your ovulation, you will notice a spike. So if it was usually 37, it may spike up to 37.5, 38 degrees, and then it's going to come back to normal maybe the next day or something. But you would notice a change in your body's temperature. So if you really want to, you know, deeply monitor your cycle and know if you're ovulating, this is an easy way. But most people don't recommend it because we don't have the patience normally to always be measuring our temperatures and charting it. So it's kind of hard. But if you're patient, you can do that and get the signal that your body's trying to tell you. The fifth, and to me, this is one of the best ways that your body tells you that you're ovulating, is that you notice a change in vaginal discharge. As women, there's always something coming out, not because you're dirty or no, there's a lot of secretions, right? So there's always some, some form of discharge and it changes throughout your cycle. So sometimes it's, it's a lot thicker sometimes it just varies but then during your ovulation 
the discharge that you're going to get is not going to be like whitish or like you know like like thick it becomes clear it becomes fluid like egg white stretchy i'm, I'm gonna see if i can put an, an image on here or something but it becomes really stretchy and why does your body do this because it, it, it wants to make the area fluid for sperm to be able to move through the vagina to the cervix into the uterus and fertilize an egg is this not amazing so if you're keen to the signals that your body is giving you you'd notice that hey there's a change in the discharge that I'm getting and you'd know that okay yeah I'm actually I might be ovulating at this time the sixth way that you could actually tell that you're ovulating is that you may notice increased sensitivity in your breast when you touch it it's it's like more sensitive it's like it's like hurting but it's not really hurting it's just you know like a weird sensation your body may be telling you that hey I'm ovulating but don't be confused with this sign and premenopausal syndrome especially for women who have like symptoms before their period comes it's different this one usually occurs like maybe 14 13 days before your period you just notice this change for other women they may experience like bloating you just notice that you're you're bloated for some reason for no reason you've not eaten but you're kind of bloated other women may experience mild spotting all of these are normal However, I'll say that if you notice that you're bleeding between periods, so from the first day to the next time, you know, that your period comes, you're bleeding in between and it's heavy, it's not spotting, that's a call for concern. You might want to go talk to your doctor about that. But if not, if it's just like light spotting and you track your cycle and see that, oh, this might be my ovulation time, right? That's a sign that your body may be giving Finally, the you. best way, the most accurate way for you to know if you're ovulating is to simply take an ovulation test use an ovulation kit and monitor your 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 cycle so just like you have a pregnancy test strip right that you can you can urinate in a cup or urinate on the strip and then it tells you if you're pregnant or not there are ovulation test strips that you can measure within your cycle and it tells you if you're actually ovulating now or you're not ovulating so for my women who really want to know who are really trying to track their cycles to know if they can get pregnant or if you're trying to avoid that time because you don't want to get pregnant for whatever reason this is the best way because it measures a hormone called utilizing hormone and this hormone peaks only during ovulation so if you want to be accurate if you want to be sure if you don't want to have any doubts buy you an ovulation test thank you guys so much for coming along with me today i hope you were able to learn a thing or two and if you found this video helpful please like share this video subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not done that yet subscribe don't forget to leave your questions in the comment section i'm going to see them and i'm going to respond to them as quickly as i can i'll see you guys in my next episode bye bye